Um, and that's pretty big because there's a lot of things that have been happening since 2017, um, 2016. Um, so it's important to see how the market has um, evolved and how you can uh, find a place in it. So right here we have a cryptocurrency sheet um, that I have in the Discord. If you go into my Discord and you either have the role or um, are level five, then it unlocks for you the cryptocurrency channel. Uh, and in there, you'll be able to find this uh, Google Doc. But I'll still um, go through it really quick because basically, um, there's a lot to, to bite off here. The most important thing is the market cap is the current price uh, times the circulating supply. So uh, another term for circulating supply is available supply. Um, so that just means what's out there and what it's going for, essentially. Um, market cap can also be described as how much money has been put into this project. So when you see someone that has um, a big, you know, um, I think Bitcoin is at about a billion right now, or I'm sorry, oh, wow, a trillion. Um, market cap. So that means a trillion dollars has been invested into Bitcoin uh, so far. That's very important because when you go to look uh, through cryptocurrencies and you're trying to gauge how successful you think they will be in the future, it's very important to look at market cap because that is um, it. a big market cap doesn't always mean that it's going to be some huge cryptocurrency. It might already be a bit like its big version of its uh, of a cryptocurrency. So basically, if you find something that has a low market cap, that means nobody's put money into it. So if you find something that has a low market cap, but you see that the project or the white papers, you know, the white papers perk your perk your eyebrows up. They make you go like, oh wow, that's pretty cool technology. You know, you go, okay, so the technology is there. Um, now I need to think: it, is anyone working on it? Are there actual people? You know, what are they doing? Are there partnerships? You know, if there's partnerships, there's probably people working on it. So you check their partnerships and you check their market cap. If the there's good tech and partnerships and you can see some of them have um, timelines of when they're releasing you know phase three phase four of a certain project then um, you know that the market cap will fluctuate at that point um, but if you see that there are 34 million market cap that means no one has invested in that heard of that there's probably a low 24 hour 24 hour volume um, of that coin so it just it really depends on what you're looking for you know are you looking at like i would say that a larger market cap would be a safer bet not always but most of the time so if you're going and you're looking at um you know what let me just show you some things so the first thing i'm going to show you is called coin stats coin stats dot app um, not dot com dot app um, and the I'll show you the okay so coin stats dot app and um, coin stats there's also one more called coin market cap I'll show you that as well um, and that is dot com coin market cap dot com um, and they basically just give you all of the the stats of of the coins um, you pretty much look up any coin, I'm pretty sure. I don't know which one has more. Um, I know that they they pretty much have the same amount, um, but one might have more than the other. I'm not too sure on that. Um, wow. So basically, you have these two sites. These two sites are going to give you most of the information that you need. 
So, I like coin stats. I'm going to go to coin stats real quick. And it's also a dark um, layout, so that's a little bit better for me. Um, so, anyways, coin stats. Here is the crypto tracker. This is coin market cap. Nope. <laughs> this is the market cap of all cryptocurrencies. So 1.5 trillion dollars is what everyone in the world has spent on cryptocurrencies so far. Volume 24 hours. I'm self-explanatory, but that is 189 billion dollars that moves in the market each day. And Bitcoin dominance. 60%. We're going to round that up. 60%. Let's talk about some things. The market cap for all cryptocurrencies is very important. Um, because when it, people like... Hey, 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 Drewski. Um, so, the market cap for crypto all cryptocurrencies is important because when people... Look check this so we know that bitcoin has a market cap of 902 billion okay and then bitcoin dominance in the market is 60 percent so what's crack a lack in my glip clap not much dog not much we're going over cryptocurrencies and a basic understanding of them um hopefully i'm able to clip some of this content later but um I'm just going over cryptos and why they are so helpful and uh, you know how to how to really get in and and immerse yourself in the market you know um, so yeah let's get it um, so going back market cap for the entire crypto market is 1.5 trillion now we're gonna go to dogecoin and talk about this hype that everyone was talking about this meme coin so 0 0.05 cents okay well that's that's five cents but the market cap oh wow the market cap for dogecoin is 6.5 billion okay and the volume 24 hours is 704.8 million the available supply of Dogecoin is 128 billion. So what that means is you would need 128 billion dollars in as a market cap for Dogecoin for it to be worth one dollar, and for it to be ten dollars, it needs to be 1.28 trillion dollars. So the market cap is super important. So when someone tells you and this is the thing people really think that cryptos are so hyped up and it's so risky it's only terribly risky when you just listen to somebody else and just go do it you know because this is a very technological um way of exchange and when you are trying to make a living profit off it in any way shape or form listening to someone go hey yo go grab this without doing your own background research is, is detrimental. So, and the reason being is because people were hyping $10 Dogecoin for so long. And $1 Dogecoin. $10 Dogecoin is so freaking far out of there. You, you, like, you have no idea. So, like I said, you need the $1.28 trillion as a market cap for Dogecoin to be $10. It is at a six point five billion dollar market cap right now, and it needs to go. It needs a hundred and twenty-two, yeah, a hundred and twenty because it was point five pretty much. So a hundred and twenty-two billion dollars more that needs to be invested in Dogecoin before it reaches one dollar, one dollar. So. Um, one other cool thing I'd like to explain is this coin calculation thing. And this is what I don't think, uh, I haven't, I don't, 
I haven't used coin market cap to the extent that I use coin stats, um, but it's definitely a valuable resource. I just it does, I don't know if it has this. I don't think it does. But anyways, you go. All right, look, I got a hundred dollars sitting in the bank. Let's see what I can do. Hey, this is Ruby, great, baby. Nope. Yeah. I'm gonna use my actual numbers from now on. So. Uh, I invest a hundred dollars in Dogecoin today. That means today at the current price, and it goes to a hundred dollars per coin. It would be worth uh, one hundred ninety-nine thousand dollars. So, pretty crazy. What if? Not gonna happen. So basically, um, it also just lets you know. If I invest this much, how much will it be worth? If it goes to, you enter in right there where I entered in 10 bucks right here. You enter in what you think it's gonna be, you know? Okay, in a year, a two, two years, I think it's gonna be this, I think it's gonna be that. And then um, put that money in and see what the calculation turns out to be. And if it's a worthwhile investment for you, grab it, dog. So, um, one more thing. So you go to Dogecoin, you go, okay, I want to buy Dogecoin. I don't care what this dirty hippie just said. I don't give a shit. I think it's going to be $10 tomorrow. So let's go down here and you see markets. That's essentially the exchanges. You know, this is the market. This is everywhere where they're available. And then here you'll find the exchanges that you could find it on. So always hit show more because you don't care if it's all the way down here and it's your uh if it's your platform your exchange that you're on and you find it all the way down here go buy it on your exchange you know what i'm saying it doesn't really this just goes by the trading volume um and that's that's the way they list them but for instance you don't know where to buy dogecoin now you do finance um uh, i don't know how to say that so i'm not going to do it um but finance 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 Gate.io, um, Kraken. I know you can do it on Robinhood, and it's not even listed on here. Bittrex, yeah, Bittrex is all the way down at the bottom, but they're they're a huge exchange. They're pretty good. Um, so yeah, this is uh, a little run through of how you analyze a cryptocurrency. Or you know what? Basically, this is this part is just using coin stats. Identify the cryptocurrency that you want. Look at the market cap. Look at the available supply. Look at the volume 24 hours. The volume 24 hours, um, that just says how popular it is, you know? So if you see right now, um, let's see if I can, I don't know if I can get this stat, but maybe I can. So I can't. I want to go back to a specific day and see the volume uh, traded on that day. So basically, Dogecoin was maybe a hundred mil or a hundred million a few months ago. You know, down here, and now it's seven hundred and four million a day. So that means it's a relatively popular um, coin, and that it's gonna one fluctuate, but it's it's moving. You know, it's a moving coin. So you know, I potentially, with all the other factors, see that that might be valuable. Um, but I don't think uh, it's good to use as an indicator alone, you know. Um, and I'll show you why here in a bit. So, recapping this, the total market cap is 1.5 trillion for the entire crypto market, uh, excluding NFTs. So, the entire crypto market, 1.5. Anything that you are looking into, you want to stack it up against that. Remember when I was talking about Dogecoin and I said that it would be $1.28 trillion that would need to be pumped into Dogecoin for it to be $10. $1.28 trillion is pretty much the entire crypto market right now, you know? The, the entire crypto market was $1.28 trillion not a, two months ago, a month ago. So the, the pumps that people are, or the hype, the pumps, whatever people are trying to get you into, listen to it, but don't necessarily go with it. You know, go look into the currency yourself, 
and figure it out.